And welcome back, everybody. Looking at our weather one more time this morning, we got 67 degrees in San Angelo. Humidity is sitting a bit higher, 90%, and winds have picked up slightly from the northeast at four miles an hour. And temperatures around the rest of the nation here, we got a lot of 60s and 70s. And actually, you'll notice just in the very southern tip of Florida kind of hitting the 80s as well as off in the southwest here around Phoenix 80s and a bit into the 90s 50s along the west coast there as well as portions of the Rocky Mountains we do have a marginal risk of severe weather possible for portions of Montana later today and we do have a slight risk of severe weather happening for a few states along the east coast otherwise for here in the Contra Valley, part of us are going to have this non-severe risk, so it could be some spotty showers, maybe a pop-up thunderstorm or two later today, but otherwise, not a whole lot is expected as we go through our day. Now, we do have scattered showers, mostly kind of in the Gulf area and along the Gulf Coast. That kind of pushes up into the Carolinas, and we have a few rain showers up in the Dakotas and Minnesota, but again, not too much going on. We did have a few showers and storms developing earlier this morning in Crockett County, but otherwise, as soon as it started, as soon as it finishes, because we did have a pocket of dry air to the southwestern corner of that county. Now, we are expecting highs to be in the mid to upper 80s, still relatively cooler than average as we continue getting into this last third of the month, but that will be changing as we get into this weekend. Now, for today, we could see the spotty showers. It's going to be very sporadic around the region, and then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, kind of the same thing. We'll have scattered showers, maybe a pop-up thunderstorm or two develop, but otherwise not a whole lot is going to be going on for the rest of the day. And then getting into Friday, we'll start to see some of those clouds pulling in from the south, and we could be seeing possible showers for that area as well. Now, we are going to have higher levels of moisture moving in as we get into this weekend, so we are going to see this dark blue to light blue pushing into the Concho Valley. So. Keeping that in mind, plus the higher temperatures, we're going to be seeing triple digits possible Saturday, Sunday, even into the first half of next week. Plenty of sunshine this weekend, so it's going to start to feel more like summer, and that's going to continue at least into the first half of 